गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल विज्ञान विहान दिस इज अवर प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर जनरल एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट ए ऑफ यू जी सी सी एस आई आर नेट इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल सोल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन टू फिफ्टीन ऑफ फिजिकल साइंसेज पेपर जून टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन अटेम्प्टिंग जनरल एप्टीट्यूड प्रॉब्लम विल गिव कैंडिडेट एन एडवांटेज टू स्कोर बेटर एंड हाई रेंक सो कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग आई विस यू ऑल द बेस्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस सोल्यूशन Here is the first problem of this episode problem number 11 my birthday is in january what would be a sufficient number of questions with yes no answers that will enable one to find my birth date option 1 6 option 2 3 option 3 5 option 4 2 here is our first problem problem number 11 In this problem my birthday is in January what would be a sufficient number of questions with yes no answers that will enable one to find my birth date there are 31 days in January nearly 4 weeks 4 weeks have 28 days plus 3 days so i will divide the January month in two equal parts this is first week this is second week this is third week this is fourth week and the remaining days three days each week will have sunday to saturday days somebody may ask his first question that if i have my birthday in first half of the month then will consider the first half month means first and second week its answer may be yes or no if its answer is yes then i have only 2 weeks for consideration and the person may ask his next question if i have my birth date in first week then again the answer may be yes or no if the answer is in yes then the person will consider only first week for my birth date on third time he may ask his question whether i have my birth date in first half of week that are four days from sunday to wednesday i may answer this question in yes or no the third question is first half of week answer may be in yes or no in that condition will consider only the first half or the second half of the week for my birth date the fourth question may be whether my birth date comes on sunday monday i may answer this question in yes or no in that condition depending on the answer the person will consider only remaining two days and remaining two dates for my birth date the fifth question would be whether i have my birth date on monday if on the first day i have my birth day the answer may be yes then the date would be my birth date otherwise the second date would be my birth date so the fifth question would be day 1 is your birth date there are number of questions 5 these are minimum number of questions with answers yes and no which can be asked from me to get an proper idea for my birth date which comes in january so the correct answer of this problem is option 3 that is 5 problem number 12 a square is drawn with one of its sides as the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle as shown in the figure what is the area of the shaded circle The right angled triangle has its perpendicular and the base is 3 cm and 4 cm. There are given four options. Option 
25 pi by 1 centimeter square option 2 25 pi by 2 centimeter square option 3 25 pi by 3 centimeter square option 4 25 pi by 4 centimeter square friends here is the next problem of this episode problem number 12 in this problem there is a square which is made on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is such that the perpendicular and base of the right angle triangles are given as 3 cm and 4 cm. Then using the Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse length AB can be calculated by AB square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. So AB will give the value 5. This AB is side of the square 5 cm, 5 cm, 5 cm, 5 cm. Then the inner circle will have its diameter equal to side of this square which is 5 cm. So diameter of the circle that is double of the radius which will be equal to 5 cm. Then radius would be equal to 5 upon 2 in centimeter. The area of the inner circle which is shaded in the figure area of circle will be calculated using the formula pi r square. So pi multiply with r square. So r is 5 by 2, 5 by 2 square in centimeter square. We will get the value 25 by 4 pi centimeter square. So the correct answer of this problem the area of the shaded circle is option 4 25 pi by 4 centimeter square friends here is the next problem of this episode problem number 13 in this problem we will have to find out the minimum number which can be added to the product of these two numbers to get a perfect square then the product of these two numbers is 9,83,713 multiply with 9,83,719. We want to make it a perfect square. So first break this number 9,83,716 minus 3 multiply it with 9,83,716 plus 3. Now this is the format of A minus B multiply with A plus B. So what will we get? 9,83,716 square minus 3 square that is A square minus B square. So the product have the value equal to 9,83,716 square minus 9. If I add plus 9 in this product, then I will get a number which is perfect square when adding 9 in the product. So that is the number plus 9. So the correct answer of this problem is Option 1 that is 9 square. Friends, here is problem number 13. What should be added to the product of the two numbers 9,83,713 and 9,83,719 to make it a perfect square? Option 1, 9. Option 2, 13. Option 3, 19. Option 4, 27. Friends, here is the next problem, problem number 14. In this problem, there is a given diagram of a right angle triangle which is ABC. Inside there are line segments made between D and F which is parallel to AC and another line segment EF which is parallel to AB according to the given problem. We will have to find out the total area of the shaded region. The shaded region is BDF and FEC. Now, First, we will make an assumption and the assumption must satisfy the given conditions of the problem. In this question, 
द राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल हैज द बेस एंड परपेंडिकुलर इक्वल द ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए सी इन दैट कंडीशन इफ आई मेक अ परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम द वर्टिक्स ए इट विल टच द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन बी सी आई कंसिडर द पॉइंट एफ ऑन द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ बी सी इन दैट कंडीशन If I join the point D and F and E and F, the structure AEFD is now a square, and also this is a rhombus because every square is a rhombus. If I make another diagonal DE, it will cut the diagonal on its midpoint O. So. simply you can say the height of the main triangle abc is af height of the other triangles bdf and fec would be half of the total height of the right angle triangle that is af by 2 now again i want to find out a relation between the hypotenuse and the perpendicular af we know it better that when the base and the perpendicular are equal for a right angle triangle in that condition the perpendicular made from this third point on the hypotenuse will be half of the hypotenuse so i can write af is equals to bc by 2 these are some important relations and i can easily calculate now the area of these two triangles the area of first triangle bdf bdf would be equal to base that is bf multiply it with height that is af by 2 and half of it because the area of a triangle is half of base into height that is now af bf divide it with 4 the area of the second triangle fec is half of base fc then multiply with height that is half of af so it is fc af divide it with 4 so the total area of the shaded region would be sum of these two quantities that is shaded area is equals to sum of these two quantities so af by 4 is common and the remaining part is now bf plus fc but bf plus fc is the total length of the hypotenuse bc so you have the area af multiply with bc divide by 4 from this relation i can write bc by 2 is af so here it is af by 2 multiply with bc by 2 then bc by 2 is converted into af so we will have the final area of the shaded region is af square by 2 so the correct answer of this problem is option 1 af square by 2 problem number 14 in triangle abc ab is equals to ac angle bac is equals to 90 degree ef is parallel to ab and df is parallel to ac the total area of the shaded region is option 1 af square by 2 option 2 af square option 3 bc square by 2 option 4 bc square The last problem of this episode problem number 15 consider a circle of radius small r fit the largest possible square inside it 
and the largest possible circle inside the square what is the radius of the innermost circle option 1 r by square root of 2 option 2 pi r by square root of 2 option 3 r divided by 2 pi square root of 2 option 4 r by 2 friends here is the last problem of this episode problem number 15 in this problem consider a circle of radius r first we will make a circle of radius r so r is its radius fit the largest possible square inside it the largest possible square inside the circle will have its diagonal equal to the diameter of the circle if the side of the square is b in that condition the diagonal length would be equal to the diagonal length a b would be equal to a square root of b square plus b square because there is 90 degree angle and this is a right angled triangle so it would be b square plus b square then ab value would be equal to b square root of 2 but the diagonal length is equal to the diameter of this outer circle so i can write here 2r is equals to b square root of 2 or i can write b value is equal to r square root of 2 now make the largest possible circle inside the square i will make a largest possible circle inside this square taking the midpoint of its sides and the circle will touch these midpoints and this inner circle will have its diameter equal to the side of the square the side of the square is b the inner circle will have its diameter we assume the radius of inner circle is r days then its diameter which is 2 r days would be equal to the side of the square that is b so i can find the radius of the inner circle r days would be equal to b by 2 but the side b have the relation with the radius of the outer most circle is r square root of 2 i put here the value of b in form of r square root of 2 then r is the radius of the innermost circle would be equal to r square root of 2 divided by 2 r is would be equal to r by square root of 2 so the correct answer of this problem the radius of the innermost circle would be option 1 r divided by square root of 2 friends you can download this paper in pdf form from the google drive link given in the description below you can find its answer key also there keep practicing i wish you all the best thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share it with your friends For more updates please subscribe this channel and tap on the bell icon so that you can get notifications thank you